here, peoples? <laughs> hey, guys, I've entered into a collaboration with Ayala Art uh, where she's going to paint a background on some paper and mail it to me, and I'm going to paint a background on some paper and mail it to her. And then she's going to take my background, and she's going to paint on it, and I'm going to take her background. I'm going to... Uh, I'll surprise you. I'm going to paint on it. I know. This is a complete shock. Anyway, uh, then we're going to swap them back. So uh, watch this video. Watch her video. And there'll be a link to watch her video somewhere. I don't know where the links show up anymore now that the, uh, YouTube has changed that system. But watch my video. Watch her video. And then be sure and click the subscribe button. And right next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Click that, and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. And you'll be sure and get the notification when the final videos get here. So with that, let me just change cameras and get it started. Okay, so what I have is a piece of mixed media, Canson mixed media paper, uh, taped down to a board so that it doesn't move away. I have sprayed some... Uh, flat white primer onto it to prevent the paint from soaking in too quickly. I'm using rags to cover my brushes and electronics to make sure I don't get any overspray on my brushes. And I'm going to use, I'm going to start with some lime green and some hunter green to mist uh, cloud background uh, just because I like the swirling effects even though you probably won't see most of them in the finished product. forgot to start recording again but basically you just lay a color down like in the red circle there in the upper part of the picture and then spray a color another color on top of it I used lime green and then you use glossy paper like a magazine page and lay it across there let it stick in and then rip it up really quick and you'll get some textured effects like you see in the uh, Sun on the right or the planet the green planet on the I'm sorry the green planet on the right or the Sun on the left and then mask them off with some uh, lids, like the, the spray paint lid, the water jug lid, and here is the, an aspirin bottle lid that I've obviously used with black paint in the past. I'm going to use some flat white to uh, kind of mask up, to kind of cover up the front just a little bit. I want uh, I want the green swirls, but I want them I want them to be very subtle <coughs> in the in the surface. And then using a piece of folded paper and some blue paint. I'm going to spray the paint inside the folded paper, not at the canvas, at the paper, and I'll let the, the paint fall on the canvas as, uh, as overspray. That way you get more of a tonal line than a solid edge. I'll do the same thing with the horizontal. Uh, I'll spray toward the mask, kind of at, right at the seam, but mostly up at the, at the mask so that you get you get more of a tonal edge than a hard edge. And then I'm going to uh, lighten the mid-ground just a little bit and darken the foreground. And I'm just using flat white to, uh, to dull it down a little bit. And then I'll, I'll come back with some uh, flat black. And I'm, I'm using flat paint specifically so that when Ayala goes to uh, paint on it with her acrylics it'll give her something to adhere to. If you use shiny paint it's hard for your acrylics to, to uh, adhere to it. So yeah, I'm just going to come in with a little flat black to, to uh, make the foreground disappear in front of us. And I'm going to add a crown to our mask of the sun because I don't want a hard edge around the sun. I want the sun to glow from behind the mask. Then I'm going to use the, the uh, 
paper to mask off the foreground to make sure that I, I do want a hard edge at the horizon. I don't know how I get paint all over my fingers and everything in the studio. But again, I'm using flat, flat black. My crown is too close to my cap. I'm still getting too hard of an edge. So I'm going to raise my crown just a little bit. And I probably should have curled the edges up. What probably would have been better off. The paper plate is great for this, but I didn't have any small paper plates because we don't use those anymore. But uh, usually I uh, have a small paper plate or a styrofoam plate where the edges are up away from uh, the mask so that it gives you a nice, uh, you get a nice uh, soft tonal edge. You don't, get, you don't get the hard edge like you will around the hard masks like the the spray paint lid or the aspirin bottle lid. And then I'm going to lift the back side of the planets and spray a little black on the back side of them just, that you can, just so that you get uh, a little bit of uh, darkness on that side. It, it gives you the indication of which side the light is coming from. And then I'm going to put the, the masks back on because it'll pull some of that black back up and give you a highlight around that side to still give you an edge of the planet. And I'm going to lift the, the lids up and spray a little lime green underneath so that we get a sense that the light coming off of the sun is lime green. And then I'm going to come back with the flat white again because I, I want it to be a I want it to look like a bright light even though the light source itself won't appear very very bright you'll see the glow against the planets when you come back with the flat black on top of that the the uh, thinner in the spray paint mixes with the paint on the, on the bottom and causes it to swirl together so you end up with cloud swirls in your space scene turn a can of spray paint upside down and very very gently press the lid you'll get spatters out of the nozzle that's a perfect way to create uh, star effects I'm using various colors white red yellow a little bit of blue Again, I, I don't know how paint gets all over the studio, uh, on the walls, on the electronics, underneath the cap, the uh, visor of my cap, on my eyelashes and glasses. I just don't understand how it happens. Sometimes the paint doesn't cooperate. It's either all on or all off. What you end up with is a pool of it on your fingers, and so you just flick that on there the same effect just bigger globules still cool I'm gonna I'm gonna mist it across the background anyway because I I want I want it to look like there's depth to the space I want it to swirl in space Lift the caps away, and you can see the highlight on the back edge, like I was talking about. And then I didn't get a bright enough effect around my sun, so I'm going to put the cap back on, back over rather, the mask. And I'm going to use the uh, the lime green. I'm mostly aiming at the cap, uh, except where I feel like the edge is too hard, where the black meets the the highlight. So I'm mostly mostly aiming at the cap, except where I need to obscure that hard edge. And if I shoot paint directly onto the black outside of the hard edge, then it, it gives the effect of a of, a, of an aura of burning gas cloud out in space around the sun. So it really really adds to the effect. Now there's some textures because they were sprayed up into the air and landed on the paper rather than being sprayed at the paper. They're not going to be. They're not going to have the same adhesion as if they were sprayed directly down. So there's a technique that you can use to make sure that they stay down. But before I get to that effect, I'm going to remove the the uh, 
uh, painter's tape that I have holding the paper onto the board. And when you do this, be sure and peel directly back across the paper, uh, across the tape like I'm doing. Pull it, pull it directly back against itself. That'll prevent tearing of the paper underneath. That will, and uh, it will, it will prevent it picking up your paint off of the paper underneath. Just tear it. Just pull it directly back against itself. And it will really help to keep those edges sharp and clean for you. You'll notice on this last one I got a little impatient and I didn't do that. And if you'll watch this last corner, you'll see that it tears the paper just a little bit. Because I was impatient. going to stop for a minute here and I'm going to clear away everything. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure I put everything away before I go on to the next step. So finally I'm going to spray some clear coat down on top of the uh, the stars and stuff, and I'm making sure to use matte finish, but it's still clear coat. Put it down on top of it, to, that way it's got the adhesion, and then I'm going to cure it with fire. <laughs> This is exactly why women live longer than men. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for the next seat feature. subscribe to this channel you need to subscribe to this channel you need to subscribe to this channel subscribe to the artistic biker now click the buttons <laughs>